Kelly, why do you think your character Agnes liked jigsaw puzzles and how did this start her journey of self-discovery? I think um, the puzzles, strangely, sort of, she connects to them. It reminds her of the fact she, she used to be kind of interested in maths in school. And, um, and she says in the movie, you know, I think I might have followed that if life had been different. And so it sort of, the puzzles strike a chord with her. It all sort of um, makes sense to her. And um, yeah, she, she it, this strange thing, you know, opens a little door in her brain and there's no, there's no stopping the change after that. Mark, I watched the movie last night and I realised there aren't many movies like Puzzle that are about a middle-aged, modern-day woman who's starting to question her role in her life. What attracted you to this project? You know, it's a good question. There, there were a few things. First, you start with the screenplay always, and I didn't develop it. I have a production company. Usually, I develop my own. This was sent to me by some friends, and they said it's a movie about jigsaw puzzling, and I went, Really, do I want to make a movie about who's going to go see that? And then I read the screenplay and I was really attracted to it. It's not uh, a, a, the Rocky of jigsaw puzzling, if you will, but it's really about a woman over the age of 40 finding her authentic voice. And those stories you don't see. We see them about men over 40, but we don't see them about women. So I like the writing, love the writing, love the character. And then the sort of capper for me was this is a woman who dotes on her husband, dotes on her two teenage sons, and lives in suburban New York, or in Connecticut near New York. And I was raised by that woman. I was raised by a mother who doted on my father, took care of me, and maybe didn't live the life that she was supposed to live. And I got to know, I saw that, and I said, I know that person. And David, your character Louis doesn't understand Agnes's love of jigsaw puzzles and even puts her down by saying jigsaw puzzles are for kids. What does this tell us about their relationship? Well, you know, Louis is a product of his environment and his, uh, um, his upbringing. And it, as much as he loves his wife and his family, you know, he, he definitely doesn't understand her all the time. And so when she starts to go through this self-discovery, it, it, it it changes his world, you know, and uh, and yeah, I don't know. He's he's always been very protective of her, and that ends up becoming sort of a smothering thing mm -hmm. that ends up happening. So as she starts to have this awakening, it you know it becomes he's trying to contain her again, and, and uh, it's just the you can't she can't be stopped. She can't be stopped. No, no. quite rightly, Agnes. <laughs> <laughs> And even though it's about a puzzle competition and so much more, I feel like the title has two other significant meanings. One, life is a puzzle, and two, the puzzle of trying to come to terms with the ending. Am I right? So yeah, the ending is different. You know, this is based on an Argentinian film. Mm -hmm. And the ending, I don't want to give it away, so this is a, no, this, we're yeah, not going to no do spoilers, a spoiler. No. Uh, but the ending was different in the Argentinian film. Mm -hmm. And as we worked on the story, we had two different endings in the writing of it. Uh, you can imagine which ways it might have gone. Uh, we considered three different endings as I got into it. And the actors, interestingly enough, David and Kelly said to me, I think it should go this way. And ultimately, that is the way it ended. We ended up choosing uh, that particular direction. I think a puzzle competition is just... Uh, that is by the by. Yeah, that's we not were, really about that. It's about the dynamic of and the it was, family. And we were so lucky that Mark, the director, was... You know, because we filmed the puzzle competition, but um, and we filmed a bit more than you see in the film, and and it, it clearly is not a film about that when you watch it, and so that became by the by and just... Um, you know, it was the coming together of Robert and Agnes, really. That was that was the key. That was the, the real change more than the puzzle. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like the difference of saying Little Miss Sunshine's about a, a beauty pageant. Yeah, exactly. Kid. It's like mm. so much more than that. Mm. It's about people. Before making the movie, were you aware that there is a World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship and a World Puzzle <laughs> no, Championship? No, I wasn't. <laughs> Well, is anybody aware of it? I don't know, but there is. I saw a documentary about it, and they have all these specialized techniques, but no, I wasn't aware of it. Do you have a favorite puzzle? 
Uh, one from the movie now. Uh, actually, the first one that Irfan and Kelly do together. And it's just a beautiful. I had it framed and it's in my home. I did do one. Uh, my my uh, Someone gave me uh, the New York Times front page of the day I was born. And that was the last puzzle I did. And I, had, I hadn't opened it up until I got this offer to do this movie. And then I thought, huh, I wonder how she did this. And it was so satisfying to like complete that. And I, I could immediately understand how someone could just get hooked into it. My friends... Um we're just talking about, it's funny, all the puzzlers come out the woodwork once they see the film. And um, my friend, turn, it turns out, is a puzzler as well. And she was just on holiday and th she had started a puzzle and been, she, she wouldn't go to bed. She was doing so much of it. And then she went to bed. They left the hotel room the next day and, and it, when she came back. They cleaned it up. <gasps> no. I get the box. She was Ooh. like, ah. Yeah, <laughs> devastated. Yes. And Kelly, what was it like working with the incredibly talented Irfan Khan? Oh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> <laughs> He's right Yeah. There. Yes, I know a lot of his fans are concerned about his health at the moment. I know, yeah. we all are. We've been wishing him well. Irfan's one of our great actors, as Kelly is. You know, David, I had yeah. a great cast. Uh, you, I don't rehearse. And so uh, we talk about key scenes. And then he and I did that mostly by Skype. And then one day he shows up three weeks into the shooting. All we've done is talk about scenes and now he's on the set. And so you don't quite know what you're going to get, except you know it's going to be brilliant because it's Irfan. Uh, and he was, a, he was a treat. There's, a, there's a, a famous older director who says, every time I cast an actor, it's like a small death. And what he meant was, I have an idea about how those words should be said, and the, the actor's going to do it differently. And what's wonderful, I think of it just the opposite. Every time I cast a great actor, it's like an opportunity. And that's the way it was with Irfan. He came and inhabited that actor, that role in a way that you couldn't expect. He was so excited about this film while, we're, while we were making it. I mean, I was excited, yeah. we all were, but we had been working for a few weeks when he arrived. And he arrived with all this enthusiasm that we had had at the beginning. <laughs> and so you kind of had to keep up with Irfan and um, being, um, being all sort of excited about it. And yeah, he's amazing. He's an amazing man. Well, I guess you're putting together your own puzzle with making this movie and putting all the pieces together. Yeah. Yes. And you don't know how it's going to end up. You know, it's this movie, I'm so fortunate because it was well received. We brought it to Sundance. We had no distributor. 1,300 people were there. They loved the film. Uh, that's the dynamic of being in a, in a big room with a lot of people. And then Sony Classics came in and loved it and acquired it. Uh, and uh, you don't know how it's going to be perceived, but it's been really, uh, it's been heartwarming. And finally, what would you like viewers to take away from watching this movie? Huh, that's interesting. I guess it's, you know, everyone, I like to leave people free, but I think at the end of the day, it's about how when one person uh, changes and transforms, how that can have a rippling effect on all those around her. And I think that's what happens in this story. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!